The GTA 6 trailer smashes multiple world records, Fortnite is now a music rhythm game, and swearing is suddenly allowed in Roblox. I'm Ash Dixon and this is Jinx News. We always knew the internet was going to explode at the announcement of GTA 6, and while it's fun to relish in the collective hysteria, it should come as no surprise that the trailer has broken not one, but three world records. The trailer also became the most liked video game trailer on YouTube after amassing 8.9 million likes in the first 24 hours alone. However, one record it didn't break was the most views for a video in one day. That trophy belongs to another much-loved acronym, BTS. Yep, the K-pop boy band. Their song Dynamite received 101 million clicks on its first day, which is insane despite admittedly being rather catchy. Now, at the time of recording, the GTA 6 trailer is at 117 million views, though it is worth noting that GameSpot also uploaded the trailer, and that's currently sitting at 19 million. And overall, the numbers just foreshadow what is going to be perhaps the biggest video game release of all time. 2025 is still painfully far away, but hey, at least it gives us time to prepare for the absolute chaos that will unfold upon its release. The multifaceted abomination that is Fortnite continues to evolve with a brand new rhythm game mode called Fortnite Festival. Yep, they're not stopping at a full LEGO game or a brand new racing game, no, they're also getting what is essentially Rock Band 5. And that might sound like an exaggeration, but it's literally made by the same developer. Apparently Harmonix was picked up by Epic a couple of years ago. Now, we got a little taste of what it looks like during the Big Bang event over the weekend. Anyone who's played Guitar Hero or Rock Band got a very familiar sight. Although, if you're a big fan of those games, I'd temper your expectations here. While it will totally be compatible with guitar controllers, it's really not designed with them in mind. They're not releasing any peripherals either, meaning most people will play by simply tapping the corresponding buttons on their controller or keyboard. You will get to pick multiple instruments to play, however. Guitar, bass, drum, Drums, guitar and vocals are all on the list and the first round of songs have also been announced. There's 34 in total and The Weeknd is set to be the featured artist for season 1 which means he'll make an appearance in the game and will have 4 songs to play as opposed to 1. But as someone who grew up on Guitar Hero they've got some great bands in there. The White Stripes, Weezer, The Cranberries, Queens of the Stone Age, Fall Out Boy, all good stuff. They've also got some anthems from the 2000s, you know, Party Rock Anthem, Bad Romance, oh and the British National anthem Mr. Brightside. Now, it is a little strange that there aren't any Eminem songs on the list considering, you know, both Lose Yourself and Godzilla were in the Big Bang event, but we move. And we know plenty more songs are on the way. It looks like they'll be dropped in seasons and going by one leak, it looks like some bangers are coming soon. Now, I'm quite excited about this. I love me some rhythm games and I'm currently borrowing a friend's electric drum kit to play some Clone Hero, so I'll probably give it a go when it drops this Saturday. I'm yet to see if there's an input for the kick pedal and on guitar you won't have to strum, so I wouldn't get your hopes up for anything too difficult, but hey, this introduces a whole bunch of kids to rhythm games and some good music, and who knows, maybe they'll spice things up in time. I'm curious what you think, are you going to give it a go? It is free to play, perhaps this just makes you want a new Guitar Hero instead. Let us know in the comments down below. Speaking of games dominated by hordes of children, while Fortnite is getting Rock Band 5, Roblox is getting swearing. Yep, yeah, you heard that right you can now swear in Roblox. Now, before you get too excited, no, you just can't run around willy-nilly cursing to your heart's content, but words such as f and c will be allowed during the new Mature 17 Plus experiences. And people are rightfully worried that this will backfire, but don't worry, Roblox have released some guidelines on when strong language is and isn't okay. So, say you get scared during a spooky game and you're like, oh, well, that's totally okay. But say you turn to a fellow player and you aim the language at them by saying something like, Ooh. you, you piece of Ooh. you are dirt, worthless Ooh. dirt, you make me sick. Well, that wouldn't be okay. Don't say that to people. I kind of want to know where they stand with saying you are the shit because if anything, it's a compliment, but also it could very much sound like an insult from someone with very poor English. You know, like you are the shit. To be honest, it's all rather strange seeing this added to Roblox, but then again, it was kind of inevitable considering it's been running for years now and all those poor young souls who've played it have grown up. Plus, let's be honest, people were making some pretty cursed stuff anyway. Ah, Borders Gate 3. It may have come out months ago, but that hasn't stopped Larian from releasing yet more stats to remind us of just how strange we all are. You have the expected big numbers, 
452,556,984 total hours played, for example. Now, that's an incomprehensibly big number, so for reference, that's over 37 million repeats of the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition. But then we get into the more niche stuff, which apparently a whole load of players have experienced, but I've just totally missed out on. 1.2 million players have been compelled to dance against their will. 1.24 million players have been transformed into a sentient wheel of cheese. I'm getting some serious FOMO here. Other stats are more concerning. According to Larian, 66% of people asked Housen not to become a bear during his sex scene. That's a strange way of saying one third chose to f a bear. I know you people went to some strange stuff, but even I didn't expect the number to be that high. In better news though, apparently Shadowheart is the most popular romantic interest, which makes sense. Tormented goth girl in a cult. I can fix her, bro. Still, being chosen by 51.3% of players is rather impressive. You can head to Larian's X account for all of the stats, but it's just yet another reminder of why Borders Gate 3 will probably win Game of the Year at the Game Awards tonight. But that's a story for tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. We'll have a whole load of awards and reveals to unpack. Thanks for tuning in as always, and while you wait for more, you can always just watch yesterday's news somewhere around here. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow.